Welcome back to Newsmakers from your local election headquarters. I'm Jane Ann Bugged along with Andy Mahalsik. We're also joined by Dr. David Sosar and David Yonkai. As you know, as we end our show many times uh, with some political memorabilia, so we're going to spend a little time more today uh, <laughs> with some great items that they brought in um, down memory lane we're going to take. So we're going to start off with this first uh, first poster here. And tell us a little about this. This is Dr. Sosar. This, was, this, this is one of the great posters of, of of earlier times. 1972, this was a, a vote for Richard Nixon as president. If you read on the bottom here, uh, President Nixon now more than ever needed. <laughs> and what you'll see is a photograph in the middle, but most of the others are cartoonish. But what each one hits is one of the uh, political issues of the campaign at that time, whether it be talking about uh, crime, whether it be talking about big government, uh, youth involvement, even the draft at that time, mm -hmm. which was still a very big thing because the Vietnam War was going on. Um, and the little boy in the middle, um, and if you'll take notice, uh, he, he has a little hearing aid in his ear, uh, but President Nixon being uh, a more of a human touch that they tried to put on at that time. Uh, but this was this was the type of posters that they used to run, unlike some of the ones that you see today. And that's very different. Yeah. Yes. This was state-of-the-art back mm -hmm. then. Oh, yeah, yeah. this was state This was the comparable art. to our computer-generated graphics today. I mean, right. that was it. Yes. Yes. And then we're and show this, show this yep. is the uh, uh, Senator John Hines, maybe uh, Dave or Dave. What? This is when he ra ran for senator uh, election, and uh, he sadly died in a tragic plane crash. It was right there. Okay. 1990, when he ran in 1976 against Bill Green, was subsequently reelected, and uh, when he died, there was talk that he was thinking about running for governor, yes. and then possibly the White House. Yeah. And we also have some photos that you brought in, and we want to show you them. That. Uh, uh, okay, that is mm -hmm. uh, Governor Casey and Ernie Klein in 1970 when uh, they ran for um, governor in the primary. Unfortunately, uh, Governor Casey had to wait eight years before he became governor because right. Klein became Shaft's lieutenant governor. Mm -hmm. And our next photo? Uh, that's uh, the uh, the uh, iconic John Kennedy for president uh, poster from 1960. Everybody had one. One of the things, too, with that was the buttons were exactly like that. Mm -hmm. Yep. And everybody had one on their lapel. Yep, this is a picture of Lyndon Johnson and John Kennedy at a baseball game. Very rare picture of John Kennedy in a hat. He never wore hats. Oh, interesting. And our next? That's Frank Dragodinsky, who was sheriff in Luzerne County for about 28 years. And he was a political force to be reckoned yes, with. He was. Yes, he, he was. Contacts. Yeah. Yes, he yeah. was. Unbelievable. Yep. And, of course, Helen O'Connor, who also was served for 32 years as Register of Wilson, Luzerne County. And... Uh, Milton Schaap. Schaap. <laughs> Schaap in 1976 ran for president. I remember a Tom Pettit story on NBC Nightly News where he said, yes, and there's a guy named Milton running for president. Oh. <laughs> and, and to dovetail. Mm -hmm. uh, on, we have uh, on the table here, we have other um, memorabilia. We're going to try to get some shots right. up here. There's a, there's a, there's a, a flyer there of, um, of Governor Schaap. Actually, this is the one here. Uh, in uh, this, this, this was a flyer that Schaap put out in 1966 and everybody every household in Pennsylvania got this he ran a multi-million dollar campaign don't ask me why I still have it my wife wonders why I still have it but I have it after like 50 years and that really uh, put shockwaves through the uh, state because nobody spent that type of money ever before in Pennsylvania he lost in 66 got elected in 70 and this one is uh, Bob Casey is the best auditor general for Pennsylvania ever had re-elect Bob Casey in November 7th, 1972. 1972, yes. And uh, he uh, um, got elected in 68 Auditor General, ran. He won um, he, he won very uh, well in Pennsylvania, even though Nixon carried the state. And of 72. course, he is the father of now Senator Bob Casey. Bob Casey, right, yep. And, and the we, last picture there, grab that last one. Oh, this back. last picture here is a picture of um, John Kennedy and Jackie Kennedy. And this was found um, in my mother in law's. Um, possession. I think that at some point during the 1960 campaign, uh, they were actually giving these photos out and uh, like really to solidify the Catholic vote. And so this is about 60 years old at this point, you know. Yeah. And then of course we have the Jimmy Carter. Yeah, peanuts. I was telling everybody when they came out, uh, please do not snack do not on, the, uh, yes. on the peanuts. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, we now, really need some Billy beer with that. Yeah, real, you remember uh, his brother, brother right? started a whole whole campaign for beer on his own at that time. When Jimmy Carter ran in 1976, <laughs> uh, they were passing those peanuts out at the old host motel, uh, which is now, I believe, the Salvation Army, right across from uh, the um, uh, mall. And, and we, we have one more oh, picture that might top and, them all off. And we're, and we're going to ask Dr. David Sosa to weigh in on um, David Yonkai for vice president, the man on the move. And What's the this all about? <laughs> the man on the move has the little, at that time, what was absolutely needed, the little union uh, bug on the bottom. And so a man on the move was going to be a man in victory for that. <laughs> yeah, well, I ran, I, I ran for student council vice president in 1970 at St. John the Evangelist High School in Pittston. Shout out to the Johnnies if you're still around and I won. It was the only election that I won. My uncle Timmy Prabula, who was a Wyoming Area <laughs> School Director, set me up with Munlock Printery. He said, I don't care if you're a nephew of mine, you have that. You have to have that uh, bug on it, that union bug. So even at that age, I had a union bug. As you know, it's the Austin Powers Man of Mystery suit. <laughs> Without a doubt, yes. That was a, that was a, I've, I've upgraded my wardrobe attached. Listen, yes. in 50 years, people will be laughing at this too. So. <laughs> well, we could hope. We <laughs> want to thank you for sharing your memory with us and for and for joining us with with your Thanks, insight sir. over over this election period. Yeah, thanks, guys. Um, next week we're going to wrap it up uh, the our election show as the, the week before the election to run down the races. So we want to thank you again for another exciting memorabilia um, tour. memory. Uh, thank you, Mr. Tour. Vice President. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> for um, for Dr. David Sosar, David Yonkai, and Andy Mahalchik, and everyone behind the scenes. I'm Jane Ann Bugda. You can learn more about our shows and about our candidates on PA Home. Homepage.com. We're under the Newsmakers link and under the local election headquarters link. And we want to thank you, as always, for making Newsmakers part of your day.